Yo, that is pretty cool. But right now, ladies and gentlemen, we are joined by Stone Mary. Yeah, hell yeah. Let's go. How are we doing today? Thank you so much for being here. We appreciate it. It is an absolute pleasure. Uh, first and foremost, can you do me a favor? And my applause thing won't stop. Hold on one second. <laughs> it's on an auto loop. There we go. Uh, could you guys do me a favor and introduce yourself? Let me know whereabouts in the world you are right now and plug and promote anything and everything you'd like. So we're Stone Mary. My name's Tawny. David. Fernando. Alex. Billy. We're in Tampa, Florida. Um, we're releasing a song at the end of this month called Sweet Tooth. Um, if you want to follow us on any social medias or at Stone to Mary Band or Stone Mary Music on TikTok. Um, yeah, pre-save link is in all of our bios. That's pretty much what we've got going on right now. Hell yeah. Is is everyone from Florida originally? Um, no. I am. Uh, Ukraine. Oh, really? How did you how did you meet the band? You know, it's like <laughs> I just had to get out of there, you know. Something something there just didn't seem right recently. For sure. <laughs> I get it. I get it. <laughs> but did did you like? Did you hear their music on Facebook? Did you respond to a post? Did you just happen to meet them while in Florida? Like, oh, no. what we, is? We, we, we've been friends for a while. Um, we were in a different band together. Oh, okay, cool. There we go. There, that all makes sense. Uh, Cody is my uh, co-host today. Cody Stone Mary. He's actually the one that showed me you guys when we played you on the show. And uh, you ended up doing really well. Uh, everyone seemed to be really enjoying it. But Cody, I know you have a couple questions for the band. Uh, go ahead and fire one or two off. Oh, yes. So I'm going to start off with the first thing that I noticed. Uh, I was going through all your music again today. Every time I find a new artist, I always do a deep dive into their catalog. Um, so while I was doing that today, I happened to notice that y'all recently re-released Smile They're Watching. And I was just curious if there was like a reason behind that for doing the new version versus the 2021 EP version. Yeah, so um, an old friend of mine actually got a job um, as a professor of animation at the University of Central Florida. And she reached out and was like, hey, I really like your guys' music. Would you want to want, want us to do like an animated music video for you? And immediately we were like, yeah. Um, the students went through our whole catalog and out of everything, including um, we had just written the Edge of Letting Go EP fully, but um, it wasn't released yet. But we let them listen and like, to those songs, see if they would maybe want to choose one of the new songs, but out of everything, they picked Smile They're Watching. So we were like, we might as well just remaster it since um, our production has gotten a lot better since we first started, so. That is cool that they, that, so they just reached out from, from UCF and just hit you up. Like, how does that, how did that happen? I actually knew this person since like middle school, we were in orchestra together, um, but I hadn't spoken to them since high school. So it was, it was really, really weird, but really cool, so. That is awesome. Nice. Uh, how did you guys come up with the band name? <laughs> was, uh, Who wants to take it was, this? <laughs> uh, it was, there was a joke. The joke is um, Mary Magdalene didn't get stoned. Jesus thought of that. Which is the... Uh... We're not a religious band. We're not. <laughs> <laughs> it went over my head, but there's a joke in there somewhere. There is. There is. You know, you know how... <laughs> In the story, uh, the Mary Magdalene was going to get stoned for being a prostitute, and then Jesus came up and said, "Like whoever uh, has not sinned, cast a first stone." So the uh, the joke is that she didn't get stoned, and it sounded like, like she didn't get stoned. I get so. it. I get it. That is cool. You want to get high? <laughs> 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 it sounded cool. <laughs> Hell yeah! Uh, a lot of times when we have artists on the show, there's some stuff they're allowed to tell us, and some stuff they're not, because it's all about the planning. Um, I know you guys have kind of predominantly gone like the single route lately. Do you find that's more effective for, for followers and fans? And what are you allowed to tell us that you have planned for the rest of 2023? Um, so I think kind of no holds barred because we're not under a label or anything. Um, it's all us in-house. Um, David produces all of our stuff. Um, I think the reason we started doing singles is because we're trying to mimic what bigger labels do where they kind of do waterfall releases and 
put singles out monthly, which wind up being sort of an EP. And we actually just came out of a writing session um, for hopefully an upcoming EP later this year. We don't know exactly when it's going to be out, but we're working on a few songs right now um, that'll be going into that. So Sweet Tooth, the song coming out June 30th, yes. is the first one off of that um, group of songs for the EP. And, and when you say when you say writing session, or you mean like pre-production with the producer? We're talking, we just get together in my studio and then we write stuff out. We come up with parts, we test stuff and yeah. we just like figure out what the direction, we just write the song. That's cool. Yeah. So, so everybody in, in downtime, that's when they can just kind of make a little something, something and just bring it to the table on those days. It yeah. all starts with a demo. That's cool. I like that. Cody, uh, what's another one that you got for all right, so y'all are talking about the new release for Sweet Tooth, and it makes me wonder, have you seen the show Sweet Tooth on Netflix? Yes. Yeah, um, <laughs> when it first came out, we, well, Billy and I um, started watching it. We were obsessed with season one. We tried to get into season two, and I gotta be honest, I, I it doesn't hook me like the first season did. I agree. Yeah. I'm looking forward to Twisted Metal, which stars Sweet Tooth coming out soon. Is it uh, Will Arnett? Yeah, it's uh, and there's a uh, uh, Joe, Joe, somebody is the is a he's a Samoan. He actually is Sweet Tooth, and then one of the Marvel characters, I believe, is the guy uh, that flies I around. Mackie, I think. Yeah, I it should be fun. Did you guys did you guys bring the hot sauce today? We did. We actually brought the last dab. Oh, see, we're going we're going intense. Okay. <laughs> We're going okay. crazy. And we have some popcorn because we saw another um, person recommended that. So yeah, we've got our dipping that. sauce. That was popcorn. yesterday. And it was funny that yeah. he said that because I'd never, of uh, Lucas of Balakota, I've never heard anybody say that before, but he was like, yeah, I you got a taste test with popcorn on hot sauce. Uh, yeah, that's that's clever that you, you caught that too. I've got some ancho masala scorpion reaper that I'm going to do. Let's see if I can get a clear shot. There we go. It's uh, it's it's up there. It's got like three or four. It's got Maruga Scorpion, Carolina Reaper, Ghost Pepper. So it's it's pretty close to the last dab. But to do the trivia, what movie or TV show? And I'll give you a second to talk it over while we jam a song. What movie or TV show? If you could only pick one or the other, would you pick that? If we ask you trivia on this movie or TV show, it's impossible we stump you. Okay. All right. Uh, well, I guess we will uh, talk about it and decide. Okay. That's We're hard. <laughs> Is there a particular song you'd like us to play? I was oh, thinking, I was uh, thinking, O or Moonlight to start, but uh, your call. I, I would start with O. Start with O. For cool. Sure. And I know there's a music video for us. So why don't we do that instead too? Yes. It's always yes. it's always cool to see uh, the acting chops. <laughs> That's what my degree then, actually. <laughs> oh, cool. We're hanging out with Stone Mary. Please go on Spotify, show them some love, hit that follow button, support them. We're gonna find out what they're gonna pick in the trivia here in just a second. Let me also throw this. I'm pretty sure they're eligible. They are. They're really debating this, you see it? They're really debating it. <laughs> Nobody wants to do the last dab. All right, did you guys come to a conclusion? First, in, in my opinion, it's easier to go a movie because if you pick a TV show, there's endless seasons. I could pick something randomly from like season two, episode seven, and that's, you know, it's way harder. Star Wars. Or, the original trilogy of Star Wars. Is there a particular Star Wars from the original trilogy or, or it doesn't matter as long as it's one of the four, five, or six? Empire. Which one do you know? Yeah, Empire. 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 Okay. Cody, go ahead and hit another one to him and let me look up some, uh, uh, some. Not Return of the Jedi. Some Empire trivia. Empire Strikes Back. 
what are what what's all of y'all's biggest influences when it comes to writing your music? <laughs> um, that's that's hard specifically for me because I I grew up playing um, like old '70s covers with my parents, uh, so a lot of Fleetwood Mac just kind of slips in. Um, but then like more into like '90s punk, probably like um, Alkaline Trio would be a big one specifically dan and adriano's melodies i take from a lot um but then my favorite probably more modern pop punk would be all time low um that's me um well when it comes to writing for stone mary i listen to a lot of different music a lot of it happens to fall on the heavier side as well so sometimes i find myself needing to tone down the heaviness to you know make it more stone mary but uh, kublai khan knocked loose any any of that good stuff do you guys ever mm. think about having like a really heavy, like heavy, heavy section? It doesn't oh, have to have screaming yeah. on, like on top of it, just a little something. You, you'd be shocked what the first iteration of our upcoming song Sweet Tooth was. It was very influenced by that. And we just had to change it because it was a little bit too like <laughs> out of nowhere and in your face, which is good. It was like... it was so good. I mean, it's it's really good now, too. It's just. <laughs> the shades, the shades of stoned Mary. It's like maybe, maybe on a, a random gig night, you can just you could throw in the heavy, heavy version oh, yeah, instead. Yeah. Just yeah. one, yeah. one time, yeah. one time for us. <laughs> oh yeah, David's always screaming at our live shows. Hell yeah! So it would work. About something. <laughs> it would work. <laughs> Let's see if you have seen Star Wars as many times as you say you have. In Star Wars: The Empire Strikes Back. Who does Princess Leia say she'd rather kiss than Han Solo? There's a scene where she does not want to kiss him and she says, I'd rather kiss blank, blank than Han Solo. Go for it, go for it. Is that right. Bantha? Nope, enjoy the dab. <laughs> it is a Wookiee. She says, I'd rather kiss a Wookiee than Han Solo. Enjoy the last dab. Don't worry, I'll still do the hot sauce with you. And uh, we'll let you enjoy that. Then we'll ask another question right away while you're suffering, which makes it fun. I'll be suffering too, though. As will Cody, I believe. Wait, do we all take it? Mm -hmm. I like how I'm instantly sweating. Okay, I'm going to do it with you. I'll do it with you. Give me one, too. Whoa! Whoa! It's cool. I'm good. It's so, so, <laughs> mine's bad. Mine's really hot. Um, let's say all of a sudden, I know you guys are independent. Let's say all of a sudden a label comes along. It's a perfect contract. You get to keep all your masters, blah, blah, blah. Comes with like a two or three million dollar per band member signing bonus. What is, and you can't buy a house. You, your family's already good. You can't buy more gear. Is oh. there, is there a particular toy or something that you've always wanted, but now you have so much money? What jet would you ski. buy? A jet ski. <laughs> he went straight, straight to sea do. <laughs> jet ski. Yo, I would get like a really elaborate, <coughs> crafted katana. Like I'd, I'd travel oh, over yeah. to like the greatest craftsman on earth and just get that crafted <laughs> put above my TV. <laughs> Dang, one of those katanas where you go like knock the holder thing off and it's signed and engraved on the bottom. Yeah, I know, yeah, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> I'd get, I'd get, I play a lot of TTRPGs, so like I'd get one of those real nice, finely crafted tables with a TV screen on the top, yeah. so I can be playing real fancy. Hell yeah! Yes, I like it. Are you, how are you, are you suffering? How are you feeling? It's it's like it comes and goes. It comes in waves. Waves. It yeah. tastes good though. It's just like painful. Yeah, mine's mine's stinging. Mine's stinging too. Cody, how you doing? Oh, I'm all right. Look like you're crying over there. It's tearing up a little bit. Maybe just a little. <laughs> is there is there a particular guest feature that you guys have all like always wanted? We still have all that money from the signing bonus. Who who's like a, a cool feature or two? And it doesn't necessarily have to be vocals. That you uh, like, you wanted on a track. If Betty White was still alive. Betty White. If she were still alive. Whoa, that's cool. Hell yeah. 
Um, probably Miley Cyrus is a vocal feature. I've always oh, been 100%. a huge fan. 100%. I'm 100% a Disney kid. Uh, so, yeah. What's the best Disney movie ever? Like DCOM or like Disney movie? Disney animated movie. Animated movie. That's uh, the space one. The one with like Buzz, the, the new one, Buzz Lightyear. Treasure Planet. Treasure Planet. Mm -hmm. uh, at the extremely Dude, Fantasia. Fantasia. <laughs> I would say the DCOM Brink. The, the skating movie. Yo, Brink is fire! Yeah. <laughs> Brink and Johnny Tsunami. Johnny yeah. Tsunami, yeah. Uh -huh. I forgot all about Brink. Hell yeah. Uh, Cody, what, what's another one that you have for him? Um, My mouth is on fire. This is more of like a general question, but uh, what's the scene like in Tampa? Um, The scene like musically speaking is a bit more hardcore and metal focused. Um, so we play a lot of shows where we're the most pop punk or poppy sounding. A um, lot of sausage fests too, but I mean, that's kind of just the whole industry. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, but it's always, it's we have this section that we always do in all of our shows where um, I teach the audience the words to one of our songs and they always sing back and it's really fun, but it's the most fun when it's in like a crowd of like metalheads who have just been like moshing all night and then I get them to sing like sugar on my lips tastes like paradise. It's my favorite thing in the world. That is cool. Everyone has the worst show ever. Can you tell me about the worst show you ever had? Might not even be a Stone Mary show. Maybe a different band you were in. What went wrong? How do you prevent this from happening next time? Well, uh, I'll, I guess I'll take this one. Uh, I'm not going to name the venue or the sound guy or anything. Um, but Tiny Stage, um, very interesting sound on stage. And the sound guy just leaving mid-set to go smoke a cigarette and just like hitting the reverb and delay button as he leaves accidentally. You know, so the and, sound from the audience sounded yeah. like um, what I was moving my mouth, but the sound wasn't coming out until like 10 seconds later. Oh, so well, weird. We oh, well, yeah, but we didn't hear it. The people out there heard it. Yeah, that's how bad the monitors on stage were. Dang, that that is terrible. <laughs> that guy's oh. fired. Oh, gosh, that, that guy's rough. fired for yeah. sure. Uh, is there is there band advice that you could give maybe uh, a band that's just starting up tomorrow? They're in their garage. They've never played a show. Uh, maybe it's a mistake you made earlier on in your career or just, just some general advice that you'd give a local band that's trying to get to the next level. Social media. Yeah. Yeah. Especially social media. That's the way to get big these days. And not just random content, content that you enjoy, content that you enjoy watching, that you want to present to other people. Um, parasocial relationships are everything. Um, if people feel like they can find a family with you and you can find that with them, it's going to make for much me much more meaningful um, fans. Oh, yeah. Well, not yep. Actually, I, I found you all through TikTok, uh, scrolling through one day on at work, and... Uh, a TikTok for O popped up, and I was like, oh, this is pretty catchy. I'll like it and check them out later. And then that night, I went deeper into your music, and that's, I put you in to local band Smoke Out. There, there's the connection right there. Hell yeah. Is uh, because I know you must get this every now and then. Is anyone a stoner in the band? You want to get high? Um, I think most of us partake from time to time. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. Uh, let's see. I do want to do one more trivia question. If you're down, but, but if you're not down, yeah, ready. So we'd have we'd have to dab again. We'd have to dab again. Give me a second uh, on on the trivia, Cody. Go ahead and shoot one more off. Oh, one more. Okay, let's see what we got. Uh, when it comes to all of your songs. Uh, what is the one that means the most to you as a full band? Ooh. I like Moonlight. I think Moonlight, is that kind of like birds, but... Uh, Winter is a gentleman. Yeah, that's the one song that we always... My, my voice Moonlight. It's between Moonlight and Yellow. Can I do the Moonlight story? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, um, it's going to be Moonlight just because that song birthed the band. Originally, um... 
David was working on a separate project where he just wanted to work with singers that he'd worked with in the past. Um, and we wound up co-writing the song together. And Hernando, who was David's roommate at the time, heard from like across the apartment and was like, we should start a band with that girl. Um, and now... Here we are. Here we are. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Yeah. From across the apartment, not too far. <laughs> so like three years later, we finally put the song out. And it's a much different version of it, but still has a will always have a special place. What what DAW system do you guys use to to track? What what do we Reaper. use? What we DAW? Like yeah, Pro Tools? Uh... Reaper. We're a Reaper boy all the way. Reaper. Reaper's gotcha. where it's at. Yeah. Hell yeah. Let's see if we can stump you one more time. In Star Wars, The Empire Strikes Back. Yoda is a klepto, kleptomaniac. He be stealing stuff. What does Yoda steal? From Luke and R two D two in Empire Strikes Back. Flashlight. Repeat one more time. The flashlight. Enjoy another dab, my friends. <laughs> what? He, oh no, he steals. He steals the food as well. Oh, he steals a lamp. <laughs> it's a not lamp. a flashlight. It's a lamp. I'm going. I'm going all in. We're gonna need. We're gonna need a, a, a screenshot of the the, the, the lamp slash flashlight. <laughs> can we can we get confirmation on what was actually stolen? Let me see. Star Wars, Yoda steals lamp. Let me see if this pops up. Is this what he steals right here? Hold on, hold on. Is that the thing? It says it's a lamp. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah. Yeah, that's what it is. All right. It is a lamp. I'm sorry, guys. Enjoy it. I'll I'll do another one with you. Don't worry. Um, this time I'm gonna do some blueberry hell, blueberry hell, uh hellfire hot sauce. Ooh, is that sweet? It, it's a little sweet, but it's still got some heat. A little bit sweet. It's got blackberries and blueberries and <laughs> other mis miscellaneous berries in it. Um is there is there a particular venue or or location that you guys would always want to play somewhere in the world that like a particular venue that stands out for me like red rocks comes to mind but uh just where where do you have like if you have a globe at home where do you have it circled as far as like we want to go here and play play this place i feel like it's different for somewhat different depending on the person i'm gonna say wembley yeah wembley would be wembley great arena. Yeah. budokan budokan in, in oh Japan. there you go two good ones Amelie arena <laughs> Right at home, yeah. I've always wanted to play a stadium show, so Emily. Yeah. And Red Rocks. I just want to play a wedding. <laughs> what? Hell yeah. Uh, is there is there any in, in your writing sessions? Do you ever consider going like crazy outside the box? I know we talked about something heavy, but having like a, a like a weird EDM element or or like a little hip hop section or just doing something completely non stoned Mary in the future. Oh. Yeah, something that we're um, playing with uh, in this upcoming one, um, we in this upcoming EP, we have a song that um, is going to start like completely like stripped down with piano, which just like we have nothing else like that. When I was <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, definitely, and we want to play more with different genres because like in O, we kind of have this like swing section in the middle of it, and then it goes back to like more basic um, pop punk than. Um, yeah, we just want to keep playing around with different genres in like the shortest periods possible. Like with a three minute song, what can we do? What are Let's your up periods possible? <laughs> what are your uh, vocal warm up techniques and then post show like cool down vocal techniques? So um, vocal warm ups before shows, I do some basic mezzo soprano um, training, which I pretty much take everything from my musical theater training. So I do a lot of yeah, 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 yeah. But then for like bigger um, belty stuff, I do this one that I just posted a TikTok about um, where I'm making this really weird voice and I'm like, good dude. And I go through arpeggios that way, like really high in my range. And that helps me hit the um, top belt in O. It's still hurting me. Um, it can be really hard to do if I'm not warmed up and just really painful. So, um, after shows, I usually just drink a fuck ton of water and um, tea 
and try not to talk to too many people in the loud clubs, which sometimes is hard, but um, that's pretty much it. Hell yeah. It, it is hard too, because everyone wants to like meet you guys after a show and, and talk about the set and at the merch booth and blah, blah, blah. And it, it can get lots of people like, hey, yeah, blah, blah. yeah, that I can see how it could be like strenuous after a while. I totally get that. Guys, this is a lot of fun, man. I, I appreciate you coming on here doing this. Uh, totally taking it to the next level, bringing some serious heat hot sauce, of which we were able to stump you twice. I'm happy about that. If you, <laughs> if you guys are watching at home, please support Stone Mary. They're awesome. Once again, if you could, toss out all your social media links so people know where to follow, and uh, we'll continue supporting you any way, any way we can. Yeah, so on um, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, we're at Stoned Mary Band. Um, and then on TikTok, we're at Stoned Mary Music. Um, and our YouTube is also Stoned Mary Band. We're going to have a music video coming out soon, too. Um, StoneMaryBand at gmail.com. StoneMaryBand at gmail.com is our email <laughs> if you have a business inquiry. <laughs> um, oh, yeah. Also, we sell merch at StonedMary.com. Hell, yeah. Play. That's all of them right there. I love it. Well, guys, yeah. this is a lot of fun. I appreciate you. Have a fantastic day. Stay safe. Uh, stay healthy and keep putting out the jams. We look forward to Sweet Tooth dropping. Would you say June, July 30th? June is that 30th. June 30th. 30th. Excuse me. Hell yeah. We look forward to that. Ladies and gentlemen, Stone Mary. Yeah, hell yeah. Thank you so much. I'll, I'll message you this for the YouTube link that'll drop tomorrow morning. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thanks Have a great day.